Hello gems, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are discussing a perfect strategy for Bitsa 2024 session two. Okay, so session one is done. You know your scores, you know where you stand. Now is the time to take a few steps and improve it, right? So that you can clear Bitsa and get into the branch of your choice at Bit. That is your dream, right? So uh, here in this video, I am providing you with certain targets, certain steps. This is a consistent strategy which you can follow around this time, which is left. Uh, before session two and hopefully get to your goal okay so yeah you have to work for this consistently and these are the few things you have to do this month okay so that you are able to crack bit set okay i'm not asking you a lot it's just a few things and you if you do this consistently it is possible okay you just have to trust yourself punctuality beats perfection okay so with that being said let's begin with this video let's discuss the strategy okay so i've divided it into two parts one for those students who have con uh, covered now up till now less than 80 percent of their syllabus okay and for this side is for those who have covered more than 80 percent of the syllabus okay so let's come to this side first uh, students who have covered less than 80 percent of their syllabus okay i'm giving you two targets if you do this there are high chances of you clearing bitsat okay so first target is to complete more than 80 percent of your syllabus okay at least 80 percent because bitsat is a syllabus game you heard it from the aspirants also when we recorded the exam reaction video they said that questions were asked from broad area right it was asked from every of the topics okay so you uh, cannot afford to miss out on certain topics so at least okay cover up 80 percent of your syllabus okay if you are far off you can cover up at least 80 percent okay those who are close by to 80 you can target for 85 to 90 percent okay so if you are able to cover up your syllables you'll be in the advantage okay so target one is that target two is of course you have to practice your formulae most of the questions in physics uh, students said that were formula based okay so if you have your formula sheet if you have prepared them refer those for formulae keep it at the top of your head okay you uh, know every formula and know how to use it okay that is that will help you a lot in bit set. Second thing, practice a lot of PYQs. Now, formula is something which I also did. Okay, I'll provide the links in the description. I have a complete list of formulae for 11th standard and 12th standard. Video links will be in the description. Also, PYQs are available in this on this channel. I'll also provide the links of all this uh, PYQs and even mock test. Uh, we did a few mock tests. Okay, all those links will be available in the description box of this video. Okay, you can start your practice here or if you don't trust here, you can start your practice anywhere. But these are the few things you have to do, okay? So the next thing is practice PYQs, okay? You have to practice uh, previous year questions, okay? They will be memory based now, besides do not release their papers as such. So you can practice questions from GE mail, okay? Uh, and yeah, neat also sometimes, or you can practice the questions on this channel, okay? Or the memory based BITSAT questions. And one more important thing is to answer mock test okay if you are scared to answer the mock test because you will make mistakes okay it's better to make mistakes in the mock test than in the real test right so keep it at the top of your head please answer at least uh, two to three mock tests okay those who are in this category please answer at least two to three mock tests and see where you are going wrong uh, if you have time you can analyze it okay so analyze your mock test and see what topic are you missing on okay so uh, there might be a certain topic uh, whose question you are getting wrong. So go back and revise that topic. That is how you should analyze your mock test. Okay, so these are the few targets, just two targets which you have to accomplish within this two months. Okay, and you can start your practice here. The videos are available in the description. And the rule is 60-40 rule. Okay, most of the time, 60% of the time, whatever time you are spending uh, around this month, 60% of the time you should focus on this. Okay, formulae, revision, uh, practice PYQs and your mock tests. Okay, this 60% uh, of the time you should dedicate to your target too. And 40% of the time you should cover up rest of the syllabus. Okay, so 40% of the time you sh uh, should do a topic or two from uh, 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 on earlier topics which you had missed for session one. Okay, so that is your target. If you do it consistently, there is nothing stopping you from uh, getting your target uh, of getting into bits, right? So just do this consistently, you'll be way uh, better than what you were for session one. Okay, so let's come to those uh, sincere students who've been working very hard throughout the year and have covered up more than 80% of the 
of their syllabus. I see some of you over here who uh, tell me your stories that you have completed this series, that series on the channel, and I'm so happy to listen to your story, right? You are working very consistently, sincere, sincerely, so I appreciate that, okay? So for you, you just have to cover up up to 80 to 95% of the syllabus. Now, these two targets should not be uh, two separate targets, okay? You should not think like, okay, first half of the month, I'll do this, first, next half of the month, I'll do this, or 40% of the month, I'll do this, 60% of the month, uh, later half of the month, I'll do this, no. This should go hand in hand. Every day, 40% of the time, target one, 60% of the time, target two, okay? I hope I'm clear. You should achieve it together, okay? Not like one and one, okay? So that will throw you off, okay? So 40% of each day should go to your syllabus completion, 60% should go to practice, okay? Let's come to those who are working sincerely. As I said, you are supposed to complete your syllabus uh, if you have completed more than 80%, you should target up to 85 to 90%, okay? Bitset is a syllables game. They ask questions from variety of topics, unlike JE main, so you should have a stronghold of all the topics that are there in your syllabus, okay? So try to complete 85 to 95% of the syllabus and devote only 20% of the time, okay? You have done a fabulous job. You have already covered up 80%, so every day, just keep on adding a little, little things, okay? If it's getting tough, leave it away, okay? Some topics will be very difficult to learn around this time. It's completely acceptable. You can leave out those topics. If you're finding it very tough and it's taking a lot of energy, of course, you can leave it. You can keep your uh, syllables coverage game within the 85 to 95% range, okay? And that will help you a lot. Second thing is, of course, the same thing over here, formulae, PYQs, and mock tests. And here you are, you have an uh, advantage over the other category because here, you have more time for analysis, right? You are using the 80-20 rule. You are using 60-40. 80-20 rule, you are just basically devoting most of your time to get maximum of the effort, okay? So 80% of the time, you are doing the things that will, that actually have a chance of increasing your score, okay? So the practice thing, you are supposed to know all the formulae and how they are applied. PYQs, memory-based, J mains, NEET, whatever you have, just practice them, okay? especially the bit side important topics. I also made a video on important topics. If you want to check it out, all the links are available in the description, okay? Also, analyze your mock test, give your mock test, and see where you're going wrong. If you uh, are unaware of certain formulae, go and learn about it, okay? If you're unaware of certain concepts, go back and relearn it, okay? So that is how you should spend your next month, and the target will be in your reach, I believe, okay? So, this is me uh, telling you about this consistent strategy. I hope you follow it and I hope uh, you make some wonderful results out of it. So this is me signing off and I'll, I'll do a few things for you in the future for BitSight session two. Um, I'm planning on a video okay, uh, regarding one of the mock test video um, with the, including the important topics. Okay? We'll do that video uh, before this session. Okay? So also I'm planning for logical reasoning and English, something on that, one short video maybe. So yeah, those are the things that will come uh, before this session. So if you want to uh, take advantage of those, do subscribe. A lot of uh, content is already available on this channel. Do check out the description of this video. Okay, so that's uh, about this video. I hope uh, you get wonderful result out of this and all the best.